everyone, my name is Tasha and I am one of the co-creators of Diving Into The Beyond. We here at Diving Into The Beyond are very excited to be working with Nick Armel Productions. It's the first time that we have ever had someone come along to one of our investigations and film us throughout the course of the evening. Nick is going to be working with us on future projects which we are super excited. We as a group have decided that we actually want to give members of the public a chance to experience the paranormal. Uh, so what happens is, is we will create an event. We currently advertise our future events on our social media platforms, which are Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and we also do have a YouTube channel. So you can find us on any of the platforms by searching Diving Into The Beyond, and I'm sure you will find us by typing that in. Um, like I say, this is just a short intro to the footage that you're about to see. I'm really excited as I haven't seen it yet either. So this is our night at Genesis Church, and um, this is what we found. So if you can pass me, they're being distracted. So <laughs> that should already be on the right, yeah. So if you can have them to me like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look. Look where? Above. Oh, that's on us. So, copper dowsing rods. The reason why we use copper is because it's easier for spirits yeah. to manipulate the rods. I've it's never seen. Weird. I've rock. never seen anything like it. Well, I think everyone's coming through. Yeah. Cat balls that you can buy off Amazon, but they're sensitive to touch, so we put them on the floor. And these are very popular with children. We play games with the children. We've had them come on to command, so we'll see if we can see any kids this evening that will want to play games with us. Oh, thank you. He doesn't want to scare them. Thank you. Oh, this is cool. Now, this is cool. we want to hear what you're going to get from in here. We know what we got, but we want to know what you're going to get. We have what every paranormal investigator has. A spirit box, so this is just radio. Um, it runs backwards and spirit will be able to speak through the radio through this. We will be trialling this with a method that we call Estus, which I believe Nick will be doing for us this evening. Do you have a name? Hello? Hi, oh, hello. Who are we talking to? Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Voice recorder. We'll see if we can get any VPs tonight. Um, and wow. one of our most favourite pieces of kit um, is our flashlights. So these are our Maglite flashlights. The reason why these are popular is to operate the flashlight, you twist on and twist off. So we've had these turn on and off to command. We use these for yes and no answers. Um, and Chris has had a child play a game of tag with her with the flashlight, so we'll see if we can get anything like that tonight. We've just lost <laughs> No, it's fine, it saves. Oh, brilliant. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Can you turn that off for me? Can you turn that off for me, please? Can you turn that, if you turn that off for me, we can ask you a question, is that okay? I do apologise, my love. Can you can you turn off that flashlight for us so we can ask you a question? Thank, Thank you. you. So, who's in the stairway with us? No, it's the yes and no for the talk. Ah, okay then. Is it if it is a man with us or a boy? 
Can you turn the flashlight on? Collapse. It's a boy. Collapse. Or a man. Collapse. This was thing, that a flash? This then? thing better not collapse. Yeah, it was the torch. Did you Hello. Oh, yeah, collapse on Hello. this stairwell by any chance? Is that? Yeah, he yes. does. So this is a REM pod. Uh, so something will need to get close to the antenna to trigger. So the closer you get, and it will signal that we've got someone here. We need you to go up, up behind them, up in the pool. I've got a game Miller. Ethel Miller. Ethel says she's We've had Miller. Down. Yeah. And we've had Cat again. Oh, really? We've had Charlotte's Bob. Miller. Miller. We've again. had Miller. Ethel yeah. Miller. Do you Miller. think it could be descendants of people? It could well it be. It could be. So, we here at Diving Into the Beyond have teamed up with Mortal Bones. Uh, Mortal Bones is Cara. She does a load of tarot reading. Um, we've brought her on several investigations with us. Um, it can trigger a response from the other side. Uh, the most recent experience we've had with Kara on a tarot reading is that the spirit that had come through did not like tarot readers, so they she was banished <laughs> from the bar. So we'll see if uh, For about an hour. we'll see how long he lasts in the church we'll see tonight. How long I last in the church tonight. You might find me in the uh, parking lot near the end of it. <laughs> What, the podium? Don't rush off! Just stand there and you, you look out like you're looking to your congregation. Just tell me anything, you can feel anything. It's getting warmer every step I get up. Oh, there's a clown there. You know, I'm, I'm, honestly, mate, we'll switch places. You go down there and have a look at the clown head. See? There's a clown head. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, it's so nice to find in the church. Yeah. So, Johnny, this is going to be the Estes method, okay? Yeah. So, what we need to do is we need you to enter a sort of relaxed state. Yeah. You're going to hear radio frequencies that are going to be playing backwards, so essentially white noise. All you have to do is repeat what you hear, because we're going to be asking some questions, and hopefully we're going to get some matching answers. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to be right around here. You're going to catch your point of relax, relax, safe. There's some people rock as well. So it's entirely up to you. You want to do that? Okay. No, that's new. What the cover? Yeah, no, this is new. I'm not an expert, but... Oh, yeah, I can see it. Look at the brick. Yeah. It, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I, I would sit there and say maybe this was possibly a chimney, which means this was a living space. Was that? Yeah. yeah. So that's so that's not true. So if that goes on, that's gonna go. We just found a chimney in the lock. Yeah, we were in the lock. It's here, isn't it? Yeah. There was definitely someone around, yeah. Peter. Hello Peter, we've not spoken to you this evening. Can you perhaps show yourself and the form of touching one of the lights? Maybe. Maybe. Yes. What did you want? I'll keep coming out of right. the hole okay. as well. Right, so... Like a fruit So guys, we're going up Thank you. So, you have been cleansed. So you've been saged. So that will ward off anything that is coming close to you. Um, to be fair, the pain on the shoulder... It could be someone just there trying to say that they're there to help you, to guide you. If you're feeling a little unsettled, which your face sort of did when we were getting the answers yeah. from the dowsing rod, it could be someone just coming up and saying, it's okay, we're here sort of thing. But we'll soon find out when we go upstairs. Let's go. We love talking. And um, we were talking about it. As soon as I got from at home, not pain, not a headache, but I... I now this is what we were talking about, psychological. If you mention something, someone else might actually believe it and feel it. This is where we're trying to distinguish the two. If I'm psychologically acting towards or if I'm actually feeling the pressure in the middle of my head the exact same way. Whee. Hello. Hello. Hang on, well, we, we think I'm outside an accident. Yeah. We are. I think she was on the stairs. We so are. She was in yeah, so she blamed herself for it and we asked was it sort of like intentional and she said yes. But when me and Nick was up at the so me and Nick went all the way up to the top mm -hmm. and um, 
there's a woman up there and she's the one that causes Gaining you the noise. Gaining more energy. Gaining so more energy, that's good. When we were up there, she pretty much said that she is one of the ones responsible for the noises because I had a metallic taste in my mouth. Blood. And I said to and your that I feel done. like I was struck on the back of the head. So Patricia come through to show me that she wasn't in a too good relationship. We don't know the name of the husband, possibly Benjamin, um, but Benjamin used to knock her about a bit and it would have taken place in that room and ultimately it would have been him that would have caused her death, which would have led to his execution. Um, did you get a child? So that we spirit that came through early was Ben. Do you reckon it wasn't the kid, Stacey? Oh, he said that he was a kid. So don't forget, like Benjamin, throughout whatever time period that you would have gone through, Benjamin would have been a very popular name. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's... Oh, it's You've all so got... Do you want to take a break? Can you tell us your name? What? Your name. Can you tell us? Go. Who would you like to go? Water. Water. We were just talked about. Yeah. But what is that? Water or water? Water. Water. Do you want some water? Stop. Stop what? Who is this? We're going. Guys, they're making noises now. Right. Yeah, it's can almost you like it's creasing together. I've got a pain in my leg. Mm. Black hair. Who's got black hair? Me? Oh, well, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> can you reset for me? Are you standing behind? Is that what you're trying to show us? They really don't like you. <laughs> Is there anybody here with us? How are you? How are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I feel really like you're hot. Yes, I'm... Like you're headachy. Yeah, that's it. Like, fresh like I've got... Pain in your ear, have you? Yeah. Yeah. Pain in my head, I'll get in the middle. Got it pulsating. That's too many. Is there eight children? Us. Can you all take it in turns to say something, please? We're trying. Thank you. Could you press one of the cat balls? I don't know. Whoa. Guys, don't do that because that's shame. All right, Tash, do you want to shame it? That was on camera as well. Who's Johnny Shadow? Johnny Shadow. Johnny Shadow actually shined up there for a second. You okay, Johnny? Yeah, I was absolutely struggling to hear yeah. loads of music. Yeah, yeah. Just you're getting music. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a Yeah, there's like music, and then you could hear sort of like words but you couldn't make out what it was. It's hard the first time. It's really really difficult. So everybody here inside the Genesis Church would like to thank you for speaking to us this evening. We appreciate all the conversations that you've given us and we're happy that you were able to come and talk to us this evening. However, you must remain here. You are not allowed to follow anyone home. You are not allowed to follow anyone out of this building. You must remain. Thank you. What tonight was absolutely brilliant, and I think we should definitely do it again. Yeah, I think absolutely brilliant. I think we've just under, you know, just scratched the surface, and I think there's a lot more to investigate. Um, it's been more surprising than what we originally thought. Uh, it's a lot bigger, and we haven't haven't really investigated half of the um, places that we should have because our attention was getting drawn all over the place so it'll be interesting what we get when okay. we come back next time plenty more to investigate here this is like the haunted house <laughs> and we will be back
fucking possum footage right there. <laughs> underwear. The fuck? Underwear in a church, guys. Like, Wait, was that there when we walked? No, no fucking no. possum. Well, we walked this way, but I don't remember. Do you not remember oh. the floor? No. I didn't think We should probably look oh, back on the footage, though. I mean, I only just noticed it because I was for how scared you back. Because when me and Shakara um, came in here before, I came we through that, that way, just so we know. I when went through you and me that came way. Here earlier, we came this way. We went to Ethel and now we found women's niggas on the floor. Was she fucking crazy? Why would you why why It's because you're the priest. Why would there be niggas on the floor? Niggas! <laughs> in a church! I just want to throw you around, but I don't know who's. It's not even look. Yeah, well, he'll cut that out. I mean, please cut that out. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Okay, so we have Johnny here with us. Is there anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> my life just flashed before my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 